What up, HyperChange? Welcome to another episode. Today we are talking about the solar industry and in particular, a company called Wonder Capital. Now this episode is part of a new project I'm doing where I wanna have companies with products and services and missions I believe in be able to sponsor episodes. So this episode is brought to you by Wonder Capital. I'll give you guys more details on this new project later at the end of the episode. Anyway, so Wonder Capital, founded in 2014, is based on this really interesting concept of connecting retail investors who wanna back clean energy and specifically solar projects with small businesses across the U.S. who are looking to install solar on their rooftops but need financing. So by connecting these two parties, you know, Wonder Capital is able to offer between six and seven and a half percent yields to retail investors while allowing those retail investors to invest directly in solar projects and be a part of this clean energy sustainable movement. So I think this is a super cool mission and sort of a new era financing company. Wonder Capital is based in Boulder, Colorado and was founded by Brian Bursick. Formerly, he was working at a New York-based venture capital firm called Village Ventures, where he led the Series A of a company called On Deck Capital, which now trades on the New York Stock Exchange. They're also an alternative lending type of company, so he started to get into the industry that way, and then started realizing there was a massive gap in the market with small businesses that wanted to get solar but couldn't get financing from banks because their projects were too small. Typically, he mentions banks don't want to have anything to do with a solar project that is worth less than $10 million. But according to his research, the average small business in the U.S. needed a solar system worth only $175,000. So that is where the idea for Wonder Capital came from, is serving this sweet spot in the market of sub $10 million solar projects, but above sort of $100,000. So I think this is a really interesting niche. And what, you know, Wonder Capital is doing differently than the traditional banks and lenders is, first of all, they're totally specialized in these solar projects. You know, they know exactly which panel manufacturers and installers to work with. You know, they are really good at figuring out which businesses should be a good fit for solar. Additionally, the company is pretty selective about who it works with to actually install these projects and only accepts about 30% of installers and developers. So really their bread and butter is figuring out which are the most high quality solar projects for small businesses and then being able to connect investors to those. Wonder Capital formally launched its investment products in 2016. Since then, the company has funded over 180 solar projects throughout the US, which are generating about 50 megawatts of electricity or enough to power about 32,000 homes. Wonder Capital, I believe, is about to grow tremendously in the coming years. They just raised $112 million in a combination of 90% debt and 10% equity from a company called Cyrus Investments. Right now, if you go to their website, they actually have two sort of funds open. One of them is Wonder Capital 5, which has a $1,000 minimum investment, targets a 7.5% annual return. The life of the investment is 60 months or about five years. In terms of the details about the project, they're going to be funding 30 individuals solar projects as a part of this fund, each between $100,000 and $2 million. You know, the systems can vary between 50 kilowatts and 5 megawatts, and these can be anywhere in the U.S. They also have something called the Wonder Income Fund, which is a $1,000 minimum, 6% target return, but a 10-year life. They're funding very similar size projects of between $100,000 to $2 million each with that fund as well. So the way this works is Wonder Capital actually pays you on a monthly basis. You're part of the returns over the life of this bond or, you know, solar securitization asset, whatever you want to call it. And right now the product is only available to accredited investors. So you have to have a net worth of over a million dollars or annual income of $200,000. So I don't even get close to making the cut there. So I actually couldn't invest in this. They are working on some things to make it more accessible to a ton more people, but I think there's a lot of regulation standing in the way of that. So it could be a while before they really open this up to everybody. Six to 7% return seems really, really solid. You know, why are they able to offer such good returns? here. I think the main reason is because the price of solar panels has dropped so radically in the past few years that now solar is one of the cheapest forms of energy on the planet if you're installing a new system and can finance it properly. And there was just so many new systems that are ready to be installed that this is sort of a huge white space opportunity to tackle. And that is why Wonder is able to get these juicy yields. But on the flip side, I don't think this will last. I think a ton of companies are going to come into the space and it may only be five or 10 more years of where you can get actually, you know, this kind of significant 
yield from backing these sort of solar projects. In fact, per my understanding, Wonder Capital in some previous funds was actually offering higher rates of return. So it's interesting to see those have come down as they've scaled and the industry gets a little bit more mature. The biggest risk at the back of my head if I was investing in one of these projects is what are the chances that Wonder Capital goes bankrupt? Because at the end of the day, the assets that you're backing, you know, these solar farms that are generating energy are really, really high quality assets because they're generating energy on a monthly basis. You know, as long as the sun goes up and the panels work, which are very, very reliable these days, you know, your asset is going to be generating a revenue stream, making it very, very valuable. So in terms of default risk, you know, that seems pretty safe, but on the flip side, you know, Wonder Capital is a startup, and if something goes wrong with them, they start backing the wrong projects, and they fail as a company, then your investment could get in trouble. So I think that's sort of worth pricing in when you're considering investing in these products. So taking a step back, um, I'm really, really bullish on Wonder Capital overall. Combination of you know traditional lending being disrupted by software, and then the energy markets being disrupted by solar has sort of created this window of opportunity that Wonder is tackling. And I think I'm very bullish on the company. You know, I hope eventually they expand. And to things beyond solar. I, I just think they're doing a super, super good thing for the planet. And I'm, and I'm really inspired by the mission of Wonder Capital. And I think there's way too much opaqueness in the financial system where people invest in things that they don't necessarily believe in. You know, they're so far removed from where their capital is going to. And I just think that's a real problem. And people need to be more connected to their investments and really put their money towards, you know, ideas and missions they believe in. And companies like Wonder Capital are at the forefront of enabling that. And I think they are going to be a puzzle piece towards hyper change and accelerating our transition to a renewable energy future by offering investment products like these. So that's why even though it seems like kind of a weird niche, you know, if you take a step back and really look, think about what Wonder Capital is doing, I think it's a tremendous service for the world. You know, I'm rooting for this company to succeed and to keep, you know, executing on their projects and being able to, you know, fulfill promises to investors because I'd love to see them just keep getting bigger and bigger. So huge shout out to Wonder Capital. Keep up the awesome work. Best of luck. So this episode was sponsored by Wonder Capital and this part of a new project or sort of initiative I'm doing um, where I want to allow sponsored episodes. I mean, as you know, HyperChange is an independent bootstrap company and I want to keep it that way. And, you know, part of me trying to monetize is doing sponsored episodes, but I've gotten hundreds and hundreds of requests of episodes that I should do. I've turned them all down, even for money, just because I only want to do an episode if it brings value to you. And so I thought by, you know, sort of doing this new idea where companies like Wonder Capital can pay to sponsor an episode where I talk about their company, but they, you know, Wonder Capital has had no input on the content that I was going to make about them. You know, it's totally an unbiased review of the company's product or service. So obviously, if your product or service sucks, this isn't going to be a very good product for you. But, you know, I really wanted to think of something that could bring value to you guys while allowing me to make money, you know, while allowing companies with products and missions I believe in to get on the channel. So I hope this works. And if you guys hate it and it's not worth your time and you think this is ruining the channel, let me know. I'll never do a sponsored video again. Anyway, this is HyperChange. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.